everyone, I'm JD from We Love Our Journals. Welcome back to my channel. I am a journaler, journal maker and teacher of journaling courses. I am going back in time, way back in time with this video, sharing a junk journal with me episode, working in my daily journal that I was using at the end of last year. So this is going back to October and some birthday mail that came in from the lovely Tonya. This was her little note and I love that there's an extra little sheet there. So that's so fun. I can write something on that. I love that journal card with the blue typewriter with white keys. That's um, something that's on my wish list and that specific one, not just any typewriter, but a typewriter that's blue with white keys. I think it's just so, so pretty. So I've been saving that uh, journal card for a special project. And um, yeah, she knows me well, Tonya. <laughs> she knows I love blue. So this is right up my alley. And um, yeah, blue flowers, blue birds, blue butterflies. Those are three things that I really, really love and can't go wrong with that. So yes, these goodies are so, so pretty. And I definitely wanted to include some on this page. So I'm just trying to um, arrange it on the page. I try in this journal to do one page per day for my daily journal. Uh, some days if there's um, a lot that I did, um, I will go across two pages. Um, but it's, it was only a small, uh, smaller journal. So I tried to conserve space as much as possible and do um, even like uh, multiple days on per page if that was possible so if there was really hardly anything that I did on a particular day or set of days then I would just put them all recorded onto one page spread um, yeah for me when I'm looking for a journal or when I'm using a journal one thing that I like to have is um, lots of pages so that I can um, yeah fill it up with a lot <laughs> um, but yeah I love like these smaller journals just for um, a little daily journal where I could um, fill up say a month uh, at a time uh, but yeah now this year I'm actually using a Hobonichi Techo I've learned from this year uh, well I've learned from last year with the daily journaling how a page per day worked really really well for me that was manageable it wasn't too overwhelming or daunting um, and it was enough for me to just record what I did and I love having that those memories recorded I just sped up this part of the video um, where I'm just doing my writing and that's really the heart of the page where I am just writing down what I did that day pretty much just so I can remember <laughs> I was um, mentioning in a video for the intentional life course how at the end of the year sometimes I can be like wow I did nothing that year was a bit boring or that year was a bit of a waste but if I actually spend time reflecting and thinking back on the year um, I realize oh actually no I did quite a lot and oh actually a lot of fun exciting things did happen and wow yeah <laughs> this growth happened and I learned this and I discovered this and yeah so I think it helps me to write it down and record it in my journals as one way that I can yeah keep these memories alive and um, be able to look back on the year, the days, the weeks, the months and see, I don't know, just see the worth in each day if that makes sense because too often the days can kind of blur together and yeah if you asked me what happened last week I'd be like um, I don't know I can't remember <laughs> even like two days ago if you ask me what did you do two days ago I'm like oh can't remember um, so having a daily journal really does help me um, to yeah, keep these memories alive and get excited about the year get excited about the days the weeks the months and all that kind of thing and I love having little pieces of ephemera from my real life that I collect and just pretty things that I pick up here and there and and people's you know RAKs and happy mails fun to stick their little notes I love their notes the handwritten notes are the best <laughs> they're my favorite thing in the mail um, but yeah the goodies as well I, anytime I get a happy mail or RAK I try to document it with at least one piece um, that came in and I put that on the page to document that and it just kind of lifts the page because I could you know do a daily journal where I just write you know 
only have writing but I think I love having something even if it's just one thing that makes it a bit more visual and engaging and interesting so yeah um, I will continue doing voiceovers and editing all these videos I did quite a lot of journal with me videos for this daily journal so I will try and nut those out uh, before I do too many more videos um, this year I'll try to get all the ones out from last year first. <laughs> so we'll see how we go. I uh, hope you enjoyed this little quick journaling session. I'll see you in the next video. A big special thank you to all my patrons in December who supported me and Willow Bound Journals with the vision to bring light and love to the world through storytelling, journaling and creativity and inspiration. You guys, without you, I could not do what I do full time. So thank you, thank you so much. You allow me to do videos and make journals and teach journaling courses. So know that you are having a huge impact on not only my life, but all the people who watch the videos, uh, get one of my journals or do one of my courses. If you would like to become a patron in January, uh, the link will be down below in the description box. And that gives you access to extra videos, printables, behind the scenes looks, personal updates, first access to my journals and you'll be just supporting me and I just can't thank you enough for that helping my dream come true. May you journal your life because your stories matter.